Welcome back to Python scripting for GIS applications, a class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. From last time, your, your assignment was to write a script that randomly selects 10 polygons, never duplicating the selection. And in this scenario, we've got polygons that have feature IDs ranging from 0 to 999. So one way to do it would be you could just import the random module and then we can make a list of our randomly selected feature IDs. So I'll call that list LST feature IDs. And then we'll make a population of feature IDs using the range function. So from a feature ID of 0 up to a feature ID of 10,000. Okay, so from that population we want to randomly select 10 feature IDs. So we'll say we'll randomly select 10 and then we'll use the random dot sample function. So this left parentheses balanced out with this right parentheses. So that randomly selected 10 feature IDs from this pool ranging from 0 up including 999. So let's look at is the length of feature IDs actually 10? My bad. Always copy and paste so you don't make typing mistakes. So control C to copy. Control V to paste. Okay, so there are actually 10 feature IDs that are randomly selected. And we might want to um, show them in ascending order so we could sort any list. So for a list, if you hit dot, you'll see the functions that are available for that list. And one of the functions that is available is sort. And then what's in that list? So there's our randomly selected um, list of feature IDs. Okay, in this session I'm going to teach you how to select point, line, or polygon features using a function called set attribute filter, which is applied to your layer object. So the first thing we need to do is make our layer object. So in this case, I created a shapefile that has three points in it. And the shapefile has three points with IDs 1, 2, and 3. So we'll make a string variable called shapefile, and then make a driver for that shapefile, and then create a data set object for our point shape file. And then we'll make our layer object. Okay, so let's um, write a little loop to look at what are the ID values for our point features. So for i ranging from 0 up to the number of features we have, we're going to use a new function that you have not used before, and that function is getNextFeature. And the reason why I'm teaching you this function is this is what you'll use with selected uh, features. And you'll see how that works in about 30 seconds. Okay, and then print our field, which in this case we'll just print out the ID field for each point. So there are three points with IDs ranging from 1 to 2 to 3. Okay, so the points layer object has a function, and it's dot set attribute filter. And that's what you're going to use to select features from your layer. 
So for example, we'll say, okay, let's set attribute filter, and then it's some query. So the field name, and then some operator. So an operator, for example, less than. So that makes a attribute filter and it returns a value of zero if this is a legal SQL query. So for example, if I say alt P and if I had something like less than, is that a legal query? And it returns five saying, no, that's not a legal query. So the less than sign is a legal operator. And then let's see what points are selected right now. So if I go Alt P to go back to my loop, so this set attribute filter works with the dot get next feature function. So it indeed selected the points that have an ID less than three. Okay, let's try another one. we'll set our attribute filter is the ID greater than two, and then Alt-P to recall our loop. And it does select all the points where ID is greater than two. And we'll try another one with the operator being greater than or equal to. And then Alt-P, so it selects all the points where the ID is greater than two or equal to two. And the operator less than or equal to. So in this case, I'll say, give me all the points where the ID is less than or equal to three. So it gives me all the points where the ID is less than or equal to three. And then give me the points where ID is equal to two. So it gives me all the points where ID is equal to two. Okay, for your assignment, what I want you to do is write a script that would select uh, the features where ID is not equal to two. And we'll go over that script in our next video session.